armed with no receiver arm and no FTLU destruct. LC, this is FTS. FTLU and FTS receiver indications are nominal. Ops 1, you go to activate, arm enable. LC Ops 1, arm enable key rotated, indicator illuminated. And Ops 1, you go to send all arm command. Copy LC and work. T minus four minutes now from launch. At three minutes, the terminal count will begin. LC Ops On the loops, you're hearing FTLU, the flight termination logic unit, and FTS, the flight termination system responsible for safing the rocket throughout its ascent. SNAs and ODMs all armed. Roger that. 379 will not be required for today's op. Phase 5 dynamic limits will be active at T-minus 3 minutes. Elect 1, I'll wait for your calls for steps 381, 382, and 383. Now standing by for the beginning of the auto sequencing start in the terminal count. We have auto sequence start. Control has transferred to CSOE. Elect one verify nominal ODM bus volts and currents. ODM bus voltages and currents nominal. Roger that. Core one, away for your confirmation. Preliminary, preliminary LO2 locks, crank pressurization started. Roger that, check 385, and elect one, verify, SIG, you ready to configure for flight. Coming up on the propellant take pressurization using helium gas inside. Disable automated blended to pure inertial handoffs. This be responsible for delivering the RP-1 rocket fuel and liquid oxygen uh, for combustion in the two main engines. Manual handoff sent. Copy that. And launch team, we're at T-minus one minute, 45 seconds on my mark. Mark. Ops 2, you go to disable ME1 and ME2 heaters. Heaters disabled. Roger that. And core 1 minute, 30 seconds to launch. Preliminary fuel tank press. Copy. Again, T minus 0 will be main engine ignition. They'll do about 2 seconds of health checks before uh, liftoff will actually take place. Preliminary fuel tank pressurization started. T minus one minute on my mark. Mark. Now under a minute from Antares liftoff from the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. All systems go, the range clear, everything looking good. Minus 30 seconds, mark. Now under 30 seconds, stand by for that first ignition. The two main engines on the first stage will be igniting. T minus 10 seconds. CBC slew test initiated. Mark. And 10 seconds to launch. Five, four, three, two, one, and we have ignition. And we have liftoff of Antares for the Or 2 mission from the Wall Flight Facility delivering Cygnus on its second commercial resupply service to the International Space Station. Antares off the pad, the SS Janus Voss on its way with the Orbital 2 Science uh, Research Supply Mission to the International Space Station. DVC nominal. Attitude is nominal during flyout. Pressures are nominal in the commodity tank. We're at 108 percent power. Throttle back to 104 percent. Engines are nominal. Attitude.
altitude is nominal. TBC performance is nominal. Getting good first stage performance. The Atari 4-2 mission. And the first stage will fire for just about four minutes into flight. Attitude is nominal. Engines remain nominal. Power is nominal on our power buses, electrical power buses. Hydraulic TBC performance is good. We're at 20,000. Two first stage engines firing successfully, carrying Antares through the clouds. Attitude is nominal. Core pressures are nominal. We're adding helium into the ohlage volume of the pressure in tanks to keep them up to pressure. Passing through max Q now. Attitude is nominal. Engine performance is nominal on the AJ-26 engine. TVC performance is nominal. Right now we're switching to a launch animation. The rocket itself lost in view through the clouds. Continuing to perform nominally though, as expected. Engine still at 100%. Engines are nominal. Coming up on two minutes since launch. 115 seconds into the mission. We're roughly two minutes from Miko. Core pressures are nominal. Miko, the main engine cut off uh, the end of the stage one flight into orbit. Attitude is nominal. Altitude is 100,000 feet. Engine performance is nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude is good. Core pressures are good. And TBCs are tracking very well. Very small steering commands on the engines today. Uh, overall, Antares performance is green. Oh, coming up now in two minutes, 50 seconds since liftoff. Just about one more minute until stage one shutdown. Attitude is nominal. Just a few seconds after shutdown, stage one will separate. We're one minute to Miko. Engine performance is nominal to date. Attitude is nominal. Altitude 200,000 feet. And LOX tank is uh, getting additional valves open to continue the pressurization sequence. All is good. Attitude is nominal. We're about 30 seconds to Miko. We have started throttle down of the engines to keep the axial acceleration below limits. TVC slew maneuver started. Attitude is nominal. Altitude 300,000 feet. And we're coming up on Miko. Pressures are good. Engines at 58% thrust. And we have Miko. Stage one throttling down, main engine cut off. PSS disabled. We have stage one separation. In stage one separation confirmed. The two main engines doing their job successfully. Uh, close period here before we will separate the fairing. At this point, the rocket traveling uh, well over 9,000 miles an hour. Close period. Okay, closed loop guidance has engaged. Uh, stage two ignition time is 3.39 mission time. We're currently at uh, 2.75. So another minute. Okay, and so under a minute now from the solid second stage rocket igniting. We have a nominal performance on continuing to carry Cygnus into orbit. Velocity is at 19,525 feet per second, which is right in the box. Altitude is 150 kilometers. Antares is coasting between uh, stage one and stage two burns. When we get up to a higher altitude, we will separate the fairing and the interstage. Avionics power is nominal on the power buses. Antares performance is green. Pegasus, um, Antares continues to coast. Wrong rocket there. Attitude is nominal during the coast period. So at this point, fairing separation coming. 
and now we have interstage separation. We're preparing for the stage two ignition, and we have pro we have positive confirmation of stage two ignition. Antares is thrusting to put Cygnus into orbit. I'm taking some telemetry here. It's in the center here. Battery voltage is good. Attitude is nominal during stage two burn. The rocket at this point, uh, or Cygnus, over 116 statute miles in altitude. Avionics power is nominal. 